Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Anthony Stewart here, Food for Thought. We are questioning everything they ever said. Uh, coming from a health, wellness, and nutritional perspective, I am not a doctor or a scientist. I am studying to be a nutritionist, although I have done extensive research into hacking my own, becoming my own N of 1 in my experiment. And I want to know what you think about this. Thought about this the other day. What has happened since specifically I have gone from a low carb approach into a carnivore um, ish diet for the last year? And I tried to write down as many things as, as I could on what has happened since last May on what, you know. And yeah, you tell me if I'm making a mistake or not. Okay. First of all, here we go. I'll try and be as fast as I can. So please stay to the end. All right, guys. So first and foremost, no more pain. I don't have any shoulder pain, arthritic pain. I don't have any uh, inflammation or muscle pain that I used to have. No more hangnails. I don't have hangnails on my fingertips. I used to get them all the time. I do not have them any, anymore. My nails also grow stronger and harder. Um, I don't get sunburn. I can be out in the sun as long as I, I want all day long and there's no sunburns. I haven't used sunscreen for about two years and no burning. Um, I'm never hungry and yet I'm never full. So. Saying that, uh, I'm basically intuitively eating, feeding myself as much food as I possibly want. That leads into no calorie counting. I don't count calories. I don't really care. I eat till I'm full, but I'm not really full. I'm just done eating and I'm never hungry. Um, I have minimal cravings. The only time I have cravings is when I actually bring back in some carbs for a treat or go off the rails for a little bit and you know I, the, the cravings sort of kick back in, but now I know the difference between my mind and my body. So that's cool. Um, I have steady energy. I work out fasted. I never am up or down. I'm, I don't get hangry. Uh, my, my sleep quality has improved dramatically. I now can go to sleep. No problem. It used to be borderline insomniac and I don't tend to have a crazy rampant thought process when I lay down. I can relax. I go to sleep. I get better sleep and it's definitely improved. Uh, it's very convenient. I eat certain things all the time in my fridge. I know what's in there and that leads me to I waste nothing. I don't throw any food away. So everything that I, I buy, I consume, and nothing goes to waste. Um, I don't ever get headaches. I used to get headaches quite often. I used to take, take Advil and Tylenol just like everybody else. I haven't taken them for over three years. No Advil, no Tylenol in three years. Crazy. I used to have bad tooth pain. My teeth are horrible. They Growing up, horrible. Cavities, no more pain. Why? All of a sudden, it, it, it switched off. I can deal with it. No problem. Weird. All right, I notice I heal faster. Uh, this December, I slipped on the ice, hurt my ankle really badly, tweaked my knee, and it is July, or J end of July now, and I have no pain. I was pretty much done by March, walking properly and healed myself, no problem. I have very soft skin. My skin seems to be getting better. I don't put cream, moisturizer, minimal soap, very much minimal shampoo. I don't even think you have to use shampoo. My hair's not greasy. And I don't get very cold only when it's cold out. So I don't get chilly and I don't get really hot only when it's hot out. But my thermal, my regulation uh, might have something to do with the cold showers I take every day. First and foremost thing, I was diagnosed pre-diabetic. I had a fasting glucose of 5.7 or 5.8 a hemoglobin A1C of 5.8, which is pre-diabetic. No longer am I pre-diabetic. In two and a half years, I have gone from that to a hemoglobin A1C of 4.8 to 5 when I check it. And now, no more pre-diabetes. So my blood sugar control has gotten under concern. And this is what, I, what has happened to me. That is incredible with no crunches. And this seems to be the more I get into this approach, the more body composition is improving and my fat loss is it. So am I making a mistake? The only marker that has gone up is my LDL cholesterol, which I have a whole opinion on that. My HDL good cholesterol is through the roof. My triglyceride, which is the fat in my blood, is tanking way low, which is good. LDL is elevated. That is the only thing that has happened since I've been doing this. You tell me if I'm making a mistake. I would say not. Thank you for everybody. Hit that thumbs up button. Share this if you can. Stay strong.